Hi, this is chapter 10 overview video. Chapter 10 is a long chapter. In chapter 10, we cover static electricity and electric circuits. We cover some background materials in static electricity, some things that you might already know about electrostatic attraction, and we will introduce more quantitative laws, such as Coulomb's law that you may or may not have heard about. Coulomb's law describes the electric force as an inverse square law. But the two new concepts that will be most important in electricity are electric fields, covered in sections 10.3 and 10.4, and electric potential, covered in section 10.5. And in section 10.6, you look at some properties of a conductor. Conductors are probably one of the most interesting objects in electricity because they contain free charges. They develop very useful properties, such as the fact that inside the conductor, the electric field is zero. And immediately outside, it's perpendicular. And there are other properties involving voltage as well. So this first half of chapter 10 serves as an introduction to electricity, the first half of electromagnetism, the first complete theory of physics that you will learn in this class. The second half is more practical. It's about electric circuits, starting out with a current, which describes a flow of electric charges. And here, really, the flow is the a very appropriate word here because a lot of times when you imagine electric current you can imagine something like a water current and a lot of analogies will hold and to relate this current to voltage which we just covered earlier in the chapter we introduce ohm's law which describes a phenomenon that holds very commonly in many different materials that the amount of current flowing through a material is proportional to the voltage difference applied. This is called Ohm's law. Uh, I like to put quote unquote Ohm's law because it's not a actual universal fundamental law. It's just a very common thing that happens with a lot of material. And after covering Ohm's law, in terms of everyday applicability, what's really useful is electric power. You will gain some understanding behind those power bills that you might be paying. The electric power is related to how much current is being provided uh, with how much voltage. So in the section, we'll go over how some devices draw a certain amount of power and things like that. And the remaining sections, section 10.10, .10, and 10.11, I hope this will give you some understanding of how household circuits uh, may be wired or how they are wired in terms of parallel and series of circuits. And um, I guess in terms of applicability, 10.11 is important because it relates to safety. It relates to how electricity, one of the most useful inventions in human history, can be dangerous, so you should be careful around it. <laughs> so that's all for chapter 10. Uh, because it's a long chapter with two distinct topics, the homework problems will be split into two parts, one relating to static electricity and another relating to electric circuits. The concepts covered in this chapter will continue to be important, especially for chapter 11 in magnetism, where we will lean on these concepts quite heavily, especially the concept of field. And uh, some aspects of this will continue to be relevant in chapter 12 as well. So please uh, give the chapter a read through and message me if there are any questions. Bye.